Hi there, Michael Posnick here, Century 21 Northumberland, and today we're trying to find out more about a property that's located in uh, Foxley River. In fact, what it is, is it is a subdivision of 28 lots. Apparently there's 17 waterfront lots and 11 back lots or water view lots. It's all in one very large 56.97 acre parcel. And I'm trying to get some video of this site, but it looks to me like we might have to do this one by airplane. Um, or spend all day out here uh, rummaging through the forest and the trees, because it's been sitting here for, I think, 20, 30, 40 years. And uh, it's basically uh, reverted back to uh, forest and brush, which is uh, quite commonly the story. So I'm going to do the best I can with the... Uh, the data and the video that we have, or the the uh, location today, without an airplane, the whole subdivision's on for 129,877, and I'm sitting right now facing northwest at the corner of Sullivan Road and Torrey Road, which on the geolink, which I can email to you, is at the uh, southeast corner of the property. So uh, we'll take some video going down the road then we'll try to get a shot of the frontage. I don't think we're going to be able to get into the actual subdivision. So that's the Sullivan Road sign and I'm driving northwest on Torrey Road. So as you can see here, it's mainly trees, mature trees at that, and brush. Definitely a property that's going to take a few hours to comb through. So bring your rubber boots. And what we'll be coming up to about probably a mile ahead of us, or a half a mile ahead of us, is there's a little causeway or a bridge over the water. So there's the bridge we just drove over. And out of the corner of this uh, 57 acres approximately, there is a... Uh, parcel in the corner that has an old abandoned cottage, which you can see in the middle of your screen now, that looks to me like it's been abandoned for at least 50 years. It's pretty well collapsing. So it takes property out of the corner. And then as we scan along here, our subject property today goes all the way out to the uh, tip of land you'll see in the middle of the screen here, eventually. So there's the, uh, the tip of land that's way out there. So there's the tip of the land. It goes right out into the water. And this is a close-up of the shoreline. As we pan back to the road. There's the cottage in the center of this clip, or in the frame. And then back to the road. Imagine my excitement when I drove by what I found is another road in. So this could actually be the road. It's hard to say, because it's only a little ways from the last little entrance way. And sometimes these roads are used by people just for logging. I figured it out! The GPS is showing the road that leads into the subdivision. There's the road right there, which complies with our drawing on our geolink. So there's the GPS locations of the entrance into the subdivision, accurate within 9 meters. And that's what you're going to see right there. That is the entrance. Here's an interesting little discovery. I found another road that looks like it heads 
all the way to the water that's not documented on any of my maps. So this could give you access to the uh, to the waterfront. I don't think I'm going to drive down there, but I'm certainly uh, it would be worth walking down there uh, when you're investigating this property. This is just off of Sullivan Road, about a quarter of the way down. So where I am now is I actually went down that road, and these are the GPS coordinates where I am now. But the further I go down, the more brushy and grown in it gets. So I'm a little bit nervous without having a backup vehicle to go down any further, but that's what the road looks like. And usually looks a lot better from uh, the camera than it does in person, but trust me, it's not something you probably want to drive down. Um, so that's about as far as we're going to go down here.